The condo collapse has shaken not just South Florida, but friends and strangers from near and far. And people from all walks of life are doing what they can to pay tribute to those affected. Local 10's Joseph Ojo is live to show us how Surfside is staying strong. Joseph. Well, Aaron, at least nine people dead. That is in the minds of many people as they try to really keep the faith. You can see right here as emotions really run high throughout after this building collapsed, many people setting up memorials, sending these nice messages, paying their respects and praying and hoping for a miracle when it comes to those who are still missing. As the desperate search for survivors continue. I'm having two days I cannot sleep because of this tragedy. Across Surfside, memorials are starting to grow. To show Surfside that we're always going to be here for them and we're here for them, you know. From these heart-shaped candles. You live with what they got through. To flowers. Devastation. It's traumatizing. And even biblical scriptures to provide some sort of peace and encouragement in this difficult time. It's very emotional because you're not only seeing adults, but you see babies, kids, uh, young adults. All day long. Something like unimaginable. Many like Liliana Lala felt moved by the deadly collapse that she had to pay her respect. I'm thinking about the family, what they get it through now. It's just painful. Julina Palomino is with St. Joseph's Catholic Church. She shared with me this list of nine parishioners who are among the unaccounted for. And then noticing that, you know, we have families that are apart from my church, it's more emotional. So as you heard, nine parishioners from that church, church still missing. Everyone here just asking for thoughts and prayers as they really hope for a miracle. We're in Surfside tonight. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News.